Hey guys, Majeffries here, and uh, I'm bringing you something different today. You see, I've done some FIFA videos in the past, but today I'm going to show you the other side of the coin Pro Evolution Soccer 2013. Um, now, from what I've heard from what other people have said, most people prefer FIFA to PES, but actually, I'm more of the opposite of that. I like PES more than FIFA for things which you'll see in a minute, like the cutscenes and the general like you can hire your own staff and you have a youth academy that doesn't mean you have to set up a scouting network all the time um, you can focus on training where you where, like how you train your squad um, gen, like general transfers as well seem to be a lot simpler on pairs which is what I want from a football game really as much as I like FIFA in the way that you have the career mode and you start from the bottom and you work to the top you get a very similar uh, idea of a game from Pez as well in that you know you have become a legend where you start at the bottom uh, and you have to hire an agent which again is something else I like that little realism of they add an extra character into the game that you can play around with and you can hire and fire your agent depending on what teams you want and things like that but uh, I might do a become a legend career at some stage in the future but for now I'm focusing on the Master League which is my all time favourite game mode on Pez um, I love the idea of you start in the bottom league, you get promoted to the top league, um, you have things like cup competitions and you can qualify for the Europa League or the Champions League. Uh, the whole idea of the way PES works and that you can have not necessarily correct teams, I admit they don't have the licensing that FIFA does, or that EA do I should say, um, Konami. but. Um, the way they've they've worked around that and they've focused more on gameplay and they've they've given you a really good football simulation game as opposed to what FIFA do which is they give you the online modes and they give you ultimate team and they give you seasons and things like that and it's sort of for me that sounds like a compensation for the fact that you don't get the crisp gameplay that maybe FIFA of old used to have um, I'm not particularly a fan of like the heavy touches in FIFA, as you've heard me say about in my previous FIFA videos. Um, whereas on pairs, it feels like a lot crisper, a lot cleaner. Uh, I like the fact you can score world-class goals on pairs just by pressing the shoot button virtually. Um, so yeah, what I've done on pairs is I've gone into the editor and I've created a team which I've called Majeffries United, um, keeping it original and. Uh, keeping it uh, classy let's say um, and I took an existing team I can't remember what team it was now um, and I've edited them so I've changed all their kits and their names and I've come up with a badge which you'll see in a minute um, now I've chosen club team lineup I could have gone for master league original lineup and you know maybe I should have maybe I shouldn't have but uh, I decided to, to go with the original lineup because I went into each individual player uh, and I changed their names and their nationalities and their ages. So they're all 16 year olds, sort of 16, 17 year olds. I've got a couple that were originally there who have kept to like 28, 29, however old. But you'll see I, I sell them quite quickly early on in the game. Um, mainly because I want to also demonstrate an ability of building a team from the youth. Like, you know, getting youth players in, 17 year olds, building a championship winning team out of them. Uh, you might have seen there. I had my Jeffries United and I also had a team called Welling Garden City which were next to them on the selection list and um, that's another team that I edited I'm from Welling Garden City so uh, I decided to use my hometown as a, a basis for a club um, and it's one that I was sort of messing around with I was doing a few career modes with um, I created from scratch myself and my friends and my brother as well uh, put them into a game um, maybe tweak the stats a little bit more than I should have so uh, it's not quite a realistic portrayal of how we play football but uh, you know you, you kind of want to make yourself look good on games like this don't you you don't really want some uh, some guy kicking it around or toe punning it everywhere and falling over every time he tries to kick the ball so yeah uh, they will be appearing during this game because they're in the same league as I am um, in fact, I think I signed a player from them quite early on in the game, but that might be in the next video. I can't remember how I've cut this up now. Um, but yeah, I just thought I'd let you, that, you know that now in case I have people commenting saying, oh, what's that team called WGC? Well, that's my Welling Garden team. Um, whereas we play as Majeffries United, who play in a very similar kit actually to Welling Garden. I'm a fan of 
blue and red stripes. Reason being, I played in a six-a-side team a couple of years ago, and uh, we were looking for kits to play in, and we wanted something that no one else had really done. So we went on this website, we were looking through all the kits, and we found a kit that had blue and red stripes in. Royal blue and maroon, I think it was, to be precise. And uh, immediately we thought, you know, that's the kit we want. It looks completely different. I've never really seen a team play in that sort of kit um, before. It's almost Barcelona-esque. We did think about Barcelona-esque style kit. Um, but then we did a comparison. We realised that, you know, they're not quite the same. Um, they look a bit like Crystal Palace's kit did last season, actually, thinking about it. But, um, you know, we, we didn't play like Barcelona, of course. We, didn't, we certainly didn't even play like Palace, but... Uh, we won a few games, but I, ever since then, every team I've made, you'll see it, uh, if I ever do for manager videos as well, you'll see it on there, because again, I, I've recreated Well and Garden City on there as well. Um, I like the blue and red stripes, and I think it actually looks really professional in a match. Um, I like the way, because I've had a colour-coordinated stadium built as well, um, I think it's called the McJeffries Arena or something like that, we'll find out again in a minute, uh, or later on in the series, I should say. Um, yeah, you know, it, it, it just looks like a really good colour scheme. So anyway, now that the game is all loaded up, I will te teach you and talk you through tactics. So, where do I start? Well, my favourite formation is a 4-2-3-1. I haven't used it in my uh, Barnet career on FIFA, because 4-2-3-1 for me on FIFA, unless you're playing as a world-class team, it really doesn't work out for me especially just having that one striker because no one really supports him but on Pez it works perfectly because you get the wingers actually going into a, a wide midfield position and um, they make the runs you can tell them to make the runs as well um, and yeah everything just seems to work so I tend to keep that for Pez and then for FIFA I do 4-4-2 diamond um, yeah, you see quickly how I set it all up. I've got four different formations set up, each one for different tactics. So I've got an over-attack, uh, an over-defend, a possession game, and a standard format, I think it was, I, I went to. Um, we'll find out a bit later on once matches kick off, because I do tweak the, check, the uh, formations a bit more as well. Um, I like to have the two deep midfielders on pairs as well, because my defence tend to get caught out quite a lot. Uh, so now I'm just setting up set piece takers. Um, you'll notice there, Bobo de Silva and El Delamond. Well, Bobo de Silva is the name of my pro on FIFA online clubs. Um, it's kind of a jokey thing that me and my friends had once uh, on Football Manager, I think it was. I found a, a striker called Bobo, who I believe played for Besiktas at the time. Um, he's Brazilian. He does exist. He is a real person. Um, I signed him for my Newcastle career and he scored tons and tons of goals so when it came to making a pro on FIFA uh, obviously I, first of all I made myself and you know it was, was alright but I kind of got a bit bored of just being me because it started to feel a bit unrealistic so I wanted to sort of get it away from me and choose a pro like a nationality and a name that uh, you know things like that so my friend suggested to me why don't you try Bobo so I couldn't find out what Bobo's other names were. And I know that, you know, this is probably a racial stereotype, actually. I shouldn't really be saying this. But um, players like Ronaldinho and Robinho and Rivaldo and, you know, they have really long names. And then they choose a nickname, as it were. So for me, Bobo is Julio Santos Bobo da Silva. Um, and, you know, he's been my pro for the last three years now, I think, of FIFA. I do occasionally alternate. I go back to being myself again, and then after a few weeks, I go back to being Bobo de Silva again. Um, and you know, it's unique. It's not often that, like, when I play clubs especially, uh, I tend to see a lot of small pros with afros. So for me to have a six foot two Brazilian striker with a bit of tenacity and a bit of skill, it makes a difference for me and it keeps the game fresh. Um, Delamond is a name that I chose for my football manager careers because, again, I didn't want it to be me because I am a player on that game. So it's unrealistic for me to be the player and the manager. So I chose a generic name, and the way I did it was I went onto Google Translate and I typed King of the World into the translator, and it came up with Regle Delamond, which all sounds good for a manager. Then I wanted to have a player also with the name Delamond. 
So I chose Liberté de la Monde, which means freedom of the world. And that's how that name came about. So you can see Bubbo de Silva is number 12, my team, and Liberté de la Monde is number 8. The rest of the team, um, I think I get a bit OCD-ish in this career mode. Um, I tend to put them, like I like to have my right backs as number 2 and my left backs as number 3. And I like my right backs to be multiples of 2. Or, you know, like 12 and things like that. Um, I'm not sure if I did that for this one. I think I meant my other right back number 5. Um, but especially with my left backs, I like to have my left backs 3, 13, maybe 15, and 20, 21 or 23. Either ending in a 3 or a multiple of 3 is how I do that rule for left backs. Um, I have on my on my uh, Well and Garden career mode, I have my brother play left back and he plays at number 11, which is his birthday. Um, and you know, I kept the whole thing. We all play as our birthdays as our squad numbers, but it just looks incredibly unrealistic for me. But uh, you can see Club Bruges is our first match. It is a pre season friendly, or the closest thing you can get to a pre season friendly on PEZ. Um, and I'll be bringing you that in the next video. So until next time, guys, I will see you soon.